Cheery number to open the show up with there. Yeah, in the middle of the cold, dark <laughs> November. No, summertime <laughs> sadness. It's my sadness. But Siobhan, what sort of shit? 
What sort of show have you Did got going on? Did you put your gum in today, Wade? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and get the gum in. Yeah. I'm going to sneak it in during, because I can hear the lift. Yeah, yeah, we can all hear the lift. <laughs> Actually, if I put the microphone in a different place, or if I lounge down, yeah. I'll be talking up to the mic and I it might see. be different. <laughs> And also with that, my voice will change. I'll stop being a London cabbie. Yeah, and you'll go into what? I'll go into my normal hello. It was sweet. Ding dong. So what have you got lined up for us this week? Uh, well, we have the usual Brexit shenanigans. Ah, Brexit. We have more on the Markle debacle. Some more Markle debacle. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> we have the oh, also usual stuff that <laughs> Kiffy array has of stories around dredged the world. up from the <laughs> <laughs> swamp <laughs> over the news of the last week. And lastly, we have a special guest this evening oh, joining fantastic. us later on. Oh, wow. And Dr. Dr. Norbert Trench Tench will be with us. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Norbert <I'm> Tench. <laughs> Dr. Norbert Tench. <laughs> to discuss some of the news articles this week uh, involving scientists and fantastic. doctors. Fantastic. I'm glad at last medical. we have Problems. a live scientist to tell us. A all live scientist. <laughs> all the, the, when scientists say something, I want to know who those scientists are. Yeah, and what an actual scientist says. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, Norbert or Dr. Tench, I look forward to meeting you soon. Uh, I'm going to turn my phones down while you You should probably do that, now. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you'll all be happy to know that we're still in Europe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, really? How long are we in Europe for? At least until January. Um, so, yes, so, I mean, Brexit is kind of still in the news, but more importantly, everyone's sort of going mental over the general election now. Is there a general election? <laughs> did we not realise that last time? No, I think we, we did. Yeah, about no, it last we did. Time. We did speak about yes, it. Yes, yes. So, yeah. So, the twelfth of December, everyone's getting really excited. Christmas oh, isn't happening God. because we're all way too focused on this. Um, so, they've started their campaigning this week. I'm not going to ask any of you who you voted for. Or who you <laughs> vote, not vote ten. Vote that, for. That will be a sensitive conversation. That I think. Be <laughs> break out into a huge row on it's, air. Well, it's not Nigel. I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's probably quite true. Um, so uh, Corbyn was in Shropshire. That's hard to say. You should try and say Jeremy Corbyn because the BBC always <laughs> refers him <laughs> as Corbyn, and Boris Johnson Jezza? gets either a full name, the title or the Prime Minister. Name. Or Bojo. True enough, that is true. And but maybe if Corbyn becomes um, Prime Minister, he'll have a... Have Jeremy a, Corbyn. He'll have a funny name attached to him as well. Jez. <laughs> Jez, yeah. They did start calling him Jezza, didn't they? They do kind of call him Jezza a little bit, don't they? Well, will they give him a number? A bit like what they do with um, number 45 in America. Oh. Um, I thought you meant on a Chinese menu. I was trying to think about <laughs> what does he mean, my meal? If Jeremy Corbyn was a Chinese dish, what would Sweet he be? Sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> no, no. Trump no, I don't think he'd be that. Actually, <laughs> under the circumstances, sweet and sour pork, given the anti-Semitic slur. Ooh. Too um, early? Always no too early. <laughs> <laughs> he was in uh, Shropshire, anyway, um, campaigning. Um, you are doing volunteering for Jezza, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I, <laughs> I think that we'll, we'll just keep everything under our own. But I will be going around Ealing <laughs> asking people if they'd like to retain the NHS. <laughs> Please come to South London. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I've got a particularly scrumptious outfit as well to wear. You can hand out our business cards as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what's your outfit? What are you talking? Santa, the Grinch? What are well, you I was going, going for the Undertaker. Oh. With a, <laughs> with a Tory badge on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here to collect the soul of the NHS. Nice, nice. God, Lord. We can work on that, though. Yeah, you know, yeah you've got closer. time. You've got yeah. time, yeah. <laughs> when do you start? <laughs> <laughs> they, they're going to send me another email. Oh, I see. But anyway, thanks for keeping that anonymous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stay tuned for Kip's volunteering route. <laughs> Joe Swinson has come out today and said, MPs on both sides say I'd be the best PM. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably the most laughable thing I've ever heard. <laughs> she is more delusional. Them. She's looking to join the debate. There's going to be a TV debate oh. between Jez and Bo- Boris or whatever you... What's his nickname? Bojo. BJ. BJ. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, it's BJ. Yeah. BJ and Jez. BJ. And so she thinks it's only fair that she also joins. Okay. 
could be interesting, but they've offered her another slot on a different oh <laughs> on channel five <laughs> oh, which which are our MPs oh i say. see so, uh, I think that's she feels so a bit put funny out. she's right. getting well above her above her station isn't she well i think the opening gambit she came up with was if i win we're just not going to do brexit so yeah yeah, all yeah. Said, <laughs> we're going to do it my way anyway <laughs> She has said that um, she is best suited to be the next Prime Minister as um, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn, neither of them are fit to be Prime Minister. Well, that does it for me. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Who's going to argue with that, eh? I mean, such meaningful insight Uh and analysis. Yep, yep. She wants to spend 11 billion in mental health care. Yeah, mostly for herself. And she wants to spend 15 billion in insulating homes. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Is there any more details to her manifesto? Or um, no, no. She doesn't point. She's not going to say where she wants to get this money from. And are they all the private homes she wants to insulate, or is it the 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 social housing area? She has not specified. Mm. I see. (laughs) Left herself leeway. Bit vague. Bit vague. Yeah, yeah. She needs a debate. You see where she can expand Uh, upon these, probably. Doesn't want to give away too much. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like this is her angle. Yeah. I think she's actually just pulling on the conservative strings, though, because obviously the Tories promised that we'd have all these new houses built <laughs> yeah. and we haven't had one single brick laid. Well, I don't know. A lot of the private housing was built, maybe 200,000. <laughs> oh, right. Built, okay. <laughs> but certainly nothing for the people who can't afford them. No. Yes. Yeah. So maybe, maybe this is her angle. She's like, I won't build you the houses. But I'll insulate the houses we already have. How about that, Re? <laughs> Odes of Grenfell. <laughs> well, oh, we've had some more Grenfell news this week, actually, as well. <laughs> uh, actually, I do recall there was a bit of fer- a f- f- ferrari or ferrari. Yep. That with awful, to that. awful man and his awful insults. I'm talking of your friend. <laughs> what do you call him? Grease Bob. Grease Bob, that's yeah. the one who said those awful things about those poor victims. And... and you know, I think throwing the fire service under the bus, as the Tories are currently doing, is despicable. Well, yeah. And well, they, they better be careful because pretty don't soon they? they may need their help. Well, that's very so true. So they've got to watch what they <laughs> Once the protests and the riots <laughs> start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Parliament ablaze. <laughs> well, so just to expand on what Dina was saying there, uh, Grease Bog uh, sort of said on a radio show this week that... Um, it should have been common sense for the victims to oh. have evacuated the building what rather than sense. let wow. it burn around them. Now, I thought, and I did read this somewhere, that he'd apologised, and I think they used the word profusely, but <laughs> he did. I don't recall he did. ever seeing it. <laughs> he apologised once he realised that people were yes. after him with pitchforks <laughs> and talking yes. after, after yes. wanting to skin after him alive. After the third stupid. attempt on his life. Yeah, <laughs> insulting comments of those poor victims. But Jezza had his own comeback as well regarding this story. Go on, Jezza. <laughs> Jezza said... I'll tell you what's common sense. Ooh. Don't put flammable cladding on homes. Don't close fire stations. And don't ignore residents when they tell you their home is a death trap. Boom! <laughs> Get in there, sense. Jeremy. <laughs> and, Jeremy uh, Tyson. And Joe just wants to insulate the homes. <laughs> <laughs> to keep the fires in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. And Farage is out on campaign as well. He was in Cumbria yesterday. What was it? I mean, why is he out campaigning? I actually he's don't not know. Stand? I thought he was going to go away. Because um, I thought he's now honorary <laughs> vice president of his own party, so oh. he doesn't have to face failure in the face when he doesn't get elected anywhere. What a surprise. Mm. He's got his own life-size cutouts. And yeah, he, he yeah. Was, um, one of his stunts was uh, in a boxing ring the other day. Oh, that's him? right. Yeah. yeah. I missed yeah. that one. Photos, that? Oh, there was photos all over the place of him in a boxing ring. You know, with, with gloves mm. on. I'll tell you, you what. You know the way that you know the way these MPs do. You know, like they Queen's participate the in things. <laughs> not the face, not the face. Yeah, yeah. I wish. <laughs> like Bojo doing the zip line years ago, yeah. and <laughs> that was very strong. That zip line wasn't it? To take that whelk. Well, he is going to be Greta's best friend uh, this week because he oh. is leafleting twenty-seven million homes. <laughs> I Recy- thought you were going to then say with recycled paper. <laughs> I was going to say, is it recycled or is it fully laden with toxic ink and plastic? <laughs> no, the ink. ink of an octopus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm. 
how how I have no more to say on that. Oh, I can hear Greta Thunberg now. Uh, People do. are dying. <laughs> <laughs> I should be at school. Um, she should be at school, but instead she's swanning around with Arnold Schwarzenegger in California. Arnie's got her, is he? Oh, Arnie loves her. God. He was on Graham Norton of a few course, weeks. Of course, well, he is... Um, He's Austrian, isn't Austrian, he? He is Austrian, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what's the link? Well, I think... <laughs> yeah. She's Swedish, he's Austrian. Second World War, Hitler, oh, right. no, and no, Sweden no. being neutral. Am I getting close? Um, no. Maybe he's trying to make it up to Sweden for the way that Austria... Or maybe he just, <laughs> you know... Interesting. Feels, Interesting. Feels I've got a different angle. Affiliated. <laughs> feels affiliated to her cause. Oh, Lord. However, mm, well, she yeah. was also hanging around with um, Leo. Leo DiCaprio. Oh, well, Leo's all for the environment. I'll tell you what, if Le- that's what it takes to get to spend an afternoon with Leo, I'll <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Very, Ringing very your true. hand and saying, yeah. people are dying. Hey. <laughs> Sail yeah. a boat to America <laughs> that doesn't what? have any diesel. <laughs> people have forgotten about DiCaprio being alive, though, hadn't they? That's probably why he's jumped in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> and is it, he's the... Governor of California. No, Arnold Schwarzenegger no. was the governor of yeah, California. Yeah, he's the go- he was. He was, he's not yes. anymore. So people have forgotten about him as well. No, well, no, he's in the new Terminator film. Yeah. All Where right. have you been? Yeah. A new Terminator film. That's del- that sounds delicious. With Arnold Schwarzenegger. With. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like we're back in 1997 already, you know? Well, didn't he say... Oh, 1980 something, back. wasn't it? <laughs> that was yeah. the first one. Hasta but, la vista, oh, baby. Well, and Linda's in it too. Yeah, Linda, yeah, Linda is back well, as well. Know. Hamilton. Yeah. Linda Hamilton. Yeah. What? Not the MP's wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember the Hamiltons? No. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> She's still around. Every so often she creeps up. I can't remember her name. It wasn't Linda, was it? It was something. It was. Oh, God, I can't remember. If anyone can, email us. Uh. Oh, there's an email. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> dear points of view. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Bojo has been. Um, Imitating is the word I'll use. Uh, Humanity. Well, I was going to say Winston Churchill. Oh, this God. week he was photographed doing uh, Winston's infamous V for Victory <laughs> sign, <laughs> saying That's uh, "dreadful." So basically, the conservative slogan is "Unleash Britain's potential." Mm. Mm. So what does he yeah. think Britain's potential is? I couldn't say. I'm not even sure he said either. Ah. <laughs> Again, he needs leeway. Like his trousers, he needs a little bit more room around the edge, just in case there's something that goes amiss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else have you got for us, Yvonne? Tell me more about our l- fabulous leaders. So he was in, well, he Bojo was in Birmingham last night. So that's mm. where he was. Uh, giving, he went to Birmingham. He did go to Birmingham. And I have to say, the picture that the Metro has used is very Trump-esque. You know, the sorts of rallies that Trump would uh, oh, be yeah. having yeah, as well. Same colours. Yeah. Glitziness. That sort of um, Hitler kind of uh, <laughs> <laughs> imagery. <laughs> 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 what part of Birmingham are you talking? Bull Ring? He I was in the NEC, apparently. Yeah, it's not oh, going to go anywhere near that. the... Because Birmingham is a Labour stronghold, isn't it? That's oh, I, I've read. is it? Oh, well, it's, it's, a lot of traditional voting goes on. Right. He's venturing into new territory. Uh, yeah, he's, but he's there's a, a very posh part of Birmingham. I once met somebody from the posh part of Birmingham. Uh, is that, is that <laughs> the some bit Solly Hall? It is that oh, Solly Hall, isn't it? Yeah. And they, what they did was they, um, rather than say hello, how are you, which is how I opened up, right? They said my house is worth seven hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> pounds. Oh. Wow, there's an intro. Yeah. <laughs> how much are yours? Well, yeah. <laughs> um, apparently, his his speech was um, disrupted, though, or I should say, the build up to his speech was disrupted by pro-immigration demonstrators. Oh, mm. yes. So far, he's the only <laughs> leader that's sort of had uh, skirmishes and protests before. I wonder speech. what his <laughs> his security crew look like. Um, <laughs> who knows? Mm. <laughs> Blonde, blue-eyed Aryans, six foot two, <laughs> yeah. six foot eight. But he hasn't encountered, you know, cups of like. Um, no, uh, no, he is. He's, yes. he's safe from <laughs> milkshakes. Let him come closer to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whole rake of McDonald's milkshakes at ah. the ready. I certainly can't <laughs> have them well, myself. They've, been, they've percolated for a few weeks now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Further to our political news, uh, John Burko, who resigned as Speaker this week, 
or well, who left the Commons as Speaker this week, he said that uh, Brexit was one of the worst decisions the EU, uh, the UK ever made. Really? Well, he's well, he's a Remainer, though, isn't he? He is very much so a Remainer. Although apparently he's had to sort of keep it secret. Over yeah, the last right. He did that really well, didn't he? he? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, he had a bollocks to Brexit sticker on his car, although he, <laughs> although he claimed it was the wife who put it there, and it wasn't his car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the one they got on expenses. Oh uh, dear. <laughs> was it Linda Hamilton? I'm sure it was Linda Hamilton. Who's that Hamilton's wife? Oh. Who's the Hamilton, the Let MP? Me have a look. Let me have a look. Silence. Yeah, <laughs> do carry on. Um, basically, Burko is also just saying, I'm no longer the speaker. I don't have to remain impartial now. <laughs> yeah. So he's not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to be let Before off any Mr. of you remain. forget who I am, yeah. let me remind you. That's very true. Sturgeon says that independence vote will Sturgeon. be irresistible if the SNP wins the general election. I did see her on a news clip. Yep. And she looks every bit as unvotable as <laughs> Boris Johnson. She just looks miserable. Yeah. She, but she maintains that level of misery. because she doesn't have independence yet, you see. <laughs> <laughs> and every time she mentions the EU, she does it through pursed lips. EU. <laughs> <laughs> you do take her off quite well. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like her, her, uh, her outfit either. It was a very, very bingo esque, I'm going out on the town sort of outfit. I mean, how old is uh, is poor old Nicola? 60. Is she? Oh. No. Well, I'm guessing just by a look. Well, guess how old Nigel Farage claims how old to is be. He? Well, how old is he? Claims to be 55. Oh, <laughs> he's doing a kiss. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Someone else in denial of their. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Denial is not just a river in Africa <laughs> or Egypt, or actually all the way, isn't it? Yeah. Boom, boom. The Green Party have pledged to spend 100 billion a year for a decade to tackle climate change. Of whose money, though? Well, yeah. <laughs> we don't have that sort of money. And where is it being diverted from? Well, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, she does say 90 billion of it would have to be borrowed. Bye bye, NHS. What, a <laughs> year? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for a decade. <laughs> wow. Golly oh, jeepers. Dear. She's stealing some of Joe's ideas here, though, because she's got a notion that she's going to... Oh, no, sorry. She, oh, she's kind of combined the two of them. She's going to build 100,000 uh, energy-efficient insulated homes. <sighs> 100,000 homes yeah. for our populace. Yeah. Our burgeoning populace. Yeah. It's not really enough, is it? No. Where are they going to be built? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> We've got loads of green land. All of Yorkshire... When you look at Yorkshire, I can't they've imagine got the, the Green Party wanting to take more of the green land away. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the Green Party. I I did have respect for uh, the Green Party. Yeah. When Caroline Lucas was a, a joint leader, right? But Caroline Lucas speaks a lot of sense. She's actually she doesn't sound mad at all. Okay. Which is unusual for the Greens because in the eighties <laughs> they sounded completely mental. I see. However, if they gain ground or even win. Um, you're a, you'll come a cropper with your lead pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, that's cars. True. That's been fixed up. this week. Gone Currently, in the days. old Roy of Holland Park <laughs> Motors has done a fantastic job on my old Mercedes. But mm. I think that I would try and make my Mercedes a lot more green friendly. How would you do that? Driving a bit slower. <laughs> or how thoughtful <laughs> on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays only? Or <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd split the days I used it. Ah. Um, by the way, it's Christine Hamilton. Christine so completely, Hamilton. Completely unrelated well, to the, 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 the so relationship. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. And what was his name? Neil. Neil, that was didn't right. They, what of them, did she go into the jungle? I think Christine went she into did, the jungle. She did, didn't she? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. They were a very comical pair. I do, I love the mm. jungle. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. The jungle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But is, it, is there anything short and creepy we have there? What, for five seconds? <laughs> well, we've got for maybe 30 seconds. All oh, right. Because well. this is how professional we are. We stitch this together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> without any gaps. I'm pretty much done with all my political news, I have to say. All right, should we start with the insults then? I mean, Boris is fat. <laughs> well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's How mean. did his um, court case wind up? You know, the trouble with the, the girlfriend. Oh, the, no, he uh, was cleared of that. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Mm. He was... Um, Is that all 
settled. I think that's sorted. all settled. I think that's all. And it was all settled between him and that American woman as well. Oh, can't talk about that. <laughs> Right, so that was um, Clannad. That was Clannad, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from your home country. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, smile and nod and yeah. Google that later. I was going to say, that was Clannad and What's Another Year. Of course, we get that confused with Johnny... Logan. Logan. Oh. From <laughs> Logan's Run? <laughs> no, no. Uh, you were written a song contest winner in the 80s. And Irish He was on your playlist, from. remember, Kim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It were old numbers I'd never heard. <laughs> Right, so this is this is something new for us now, but we have our, our guest speaker in the building, in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Norbert Tench is with us. Oh, call me Nobby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lovely, excellent. <laughs> is that how your friends refer to you? <laughs> oh, um, Nobby. So we have you here, uh, Nobby, to <laughs> go through some articles with you that we found during the week. Uh, which, you know, we want a scientist's opinion on. Lovely to meet you, Nobby the Scientist. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Kiff. Kiff, just, yeah, just, just Ms. let's Ms. keep it informal. Kiff. <laughs> right. uh, yeah, not Cliff. <laughs> Kiff. <laughs> so what were you going to ask me? Uh, so, so my first article here uh, <laughs> pertains to female ejaculation. Ooh. Now, I will just... just 
say that this has this is one of the articles that was sort of dug up from the depths of <laughs> the world. <laughs> Actually, oh, that, that was the BBC, though. I'd like to point <laughs> out this this article came from the BBC, right? right okay. Just in in the bin, the bin <laughs> section, the bargain <laughs> bin section of the BBC. <laughs> it was a slow week for news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, this really speeded it up. <laughs> Nobby, the article says, "Where does it come from? Is it P?" How might I make it happen for me? Do you have the answers for us? Well, and, and Siobhan's speaking for herself there. I'd like to say that <laughs> <laughs> this is not something I'm really that interested in as a man. Um, it's not really my area of expertise, but um, I can tell you a few little facts about Oh, please. Ejaculation. <laughs> now, um, it's said to come from a small gland near the urethra. Okay. Steam gland. Okay. Which um, ejects some fluid. Um, at orgasm. Okay. Yeah. And um, the thing is, it's, it's two to five mils. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very accurate wow. there. And um, it's a milky... Do you have skin milk? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never look at skin milk. I do. Not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> uh, if you have skin milk, just dilute it. Okay. You get the sort of the, the colour. I see. And, um, <laughs> apparently it's sweet. Oh, about. Jesus. Is wow. there an odour to it? I've never... Um, well, there's lots of speculation about odour. I like you <laughs> use the word speculation there. <laughs> yeah. Very sciencey. Yeah. Um, it it's really takes on an odour of what you've been eating. So if you've heard asparagus... Oh, oh <laughs> right. <laughs> what about beetroot? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Another now, earthy um, scent. There are some women that produce quite a lot of um, uh, ejaculate. Okay. And, um, and there was a... Um, I think it's a French side. Yes, it's a French side. It's Salama. Uh huh. It's in Salama. Private hospital. He recruited seven women. Okay. Who produced about over a hundred mils. Oh my goodness. God! And yes, but of milky goodness. Yeah. Jesus! <laughs> Imagine that coming out of you. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to try being a fella. <laughs> No, it, it wasn't oh. they wet the bed or anything like that. Ah, so <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, these were unusual women who produced a, a significant amount, and this was called squirting. And there was a, there was a <laughs> sort of. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. I just get no. I, when I get nervous, I laugh. Yes, yeah, oh, I was right, just about okay. to say he's uncomfortable. Well, don't get nervous about um, female ejaculation. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Kid, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> don't get nervous. It just depends where you are at the time it happens. <laughs> but so anyway, these women, there were seven women who um, produced over a hundred mils, a cup okay. full, really. Of, um, goodness. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know about goodness. Uh, <laughs> 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 you must have been quite dehydrated. <laughs> And, um, so, in a <laughs> controlled laboratory experiment, I think the, the wow. title of the paper was "Climax in the Lab." <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love it. And it had many, many hits, many reads, oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> many views. Okay, you can see this in New Scientist, but I'll give you the references <laughs> at the end of the program. Thank you, Doctor. However, so um, during in the lab experiments, he stu- he um, asked the women to evacuate their bladders. Okay. So they were com- and he checked that with ultrasound. Okay. And <laughs> then <laughs> ultrasound. It was just making. Sh- yeah, yeah. What happened if you got a little bit left in there? Oh, would, yeah, would you know, get it out. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've, there are times I've pressed and squeezed, and I've got rather than emptying my bladder, I've just flat, I've, I've flatulated <laughs> <laughs> rather that, loudly. That's Fairly standard for yourself. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> there, let, yeah. let Nobby continue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Nobby. Thank you. Could I remo- recommend tenor? For those who... For men. Right. So, um, as part of the experiment, he, he um, actually stimulated these women in the lab to climax. <laughs> to I'd love cousin. to know what that... A French scientist <laughs> stimulated seven women in uh, a lab. Yeah, but <laughs> some of them were with their partners. And oh, right. Some of them, um, he um, did himself. himself. <laughs> yeah. Now this took between twenty-five to sixty minutes. So, okay. Mr. Kiff, you, <laughs> you must try harder. <laughs> I was quite yeah. impressed at double figures. Ten minutes, thinking, "Wow!" So, um, and then they <laughs> produce the um, ejaculate. This was collected. And they did an ultrasound afterwards to show whether it, the, the bladder, this was coming from the bladder, okay. or it was coming from this other little gland, this skin gland. Now, um, 
in the ultrasound, it showed that that actually that some of it actually was the bladder was refilling in that time. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, however, when you look at the composition of the of the ejaculate, mm-hmm. compare that to the urine. Okay. There were differences. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, aroma. Um, I'm not sure about <laughs> the aroma or the taste, but um, I think they found that there was. Um, a, a <laughs> prostate um, chemical. Oh. Well, there's a, a, a female equivalent to the prostate. Okay. Band, mm-hmm. And they found some of that in the ejaculate. So it was slightly different than urine. Oh. Now, I two, see. two of the women actually did produce urine, but the five others produced this other ejaculate. Interesting. Um, <laughs> that didn't sound comfortable. <laughs> yeah. um, now, um, as as a scientist myself, um, I think we could do a little experiment here in the in the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, Suddenly, I'm very oh, afraid. Um, I've got to go now. Now, Siobhan, if you could just take this little um, thing here and um, <laughs> pop out. Yeah. Did you say was it five, ten? Oh no, that was me. It said ten minutes, wasn't it? It was. Uh, oh god. Twenty-five well, who's, minutes who's to an hour. Who's going to fill the space for sixty minutes? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's yeah. a good point. We could just pause. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And how, how kind okay, of that's you enough. Thank you, Siobhan. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the sound you make in climax. <laughs> so anyway. Um, wow, Siobhan, you look flushed. So yep. You can, <laughs> so you can see this is a, a, my milk, a milky done. sort of um, thing. It's wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Do, yeah. do, do we sit this now? Do we, um, do we? Uh, yeah. uh, uh. You can, I'll pass it to you, Mr. Kiff, and you can try it. Sorry, Kiff. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sorry, Hold on. Let me just taste it. <laughs> what have you eaten today? Oh, in the name of I do believe you had a couple Taste of, of nettles. No, she had a couple of samosas. Ah. Yes, yes, it was the samosas. I yes, see. The samosas. So there is a bit of controversy, controversy about the ejaculation, but it does occur. Um, it does come through the urethra, the same sort of place where the wee comes from. Mm-hmm. Um, the urethra, Franklin. Uh, 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 idiot. Oh, no. Scientific joke <laughs> alert. All right. Please let yes, Nobby. Yeah. Uh, are you a soul man? <laughs> <laughs> Some say soulless. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, so that you know, th- there's still some controversy, but this French scientist um, still he's got the heart of it. He, you know, this was a private hospital. And, you know, it <laughs> this is his life's repeated. work. So um, it has to be repeated in the case controlled sort of manner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the control yeah. group. <laughs> that would be quite an yeah. experiment. With more the more test group. subjects so required. One, yeah. of, one of the theories that came out of this was that did the climax produce more urine, or did the stimulation cause you know, and what's the adaptive? Why would you adapt to that? That's what, very what, true. What, 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 what is the benefit of That's producing? That's very, this? very true. What is the evolutionary? Yeah. Well, I'm afraid that probably a question for the gods. Can I read out a, a comment that Gilly forty one? Oh, uh, Gilly, made. yes, very controversial. <laughs> Gilly, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Gilly this squirted, and uh, it oh. left her on a high. Apparently, fantastic. She said she was awestruck. It felt incredible. A huge release. Then she said, I took a photo of the wet patch <laughs> so I could reassure myself that it had really happened. <laughs> right. I wonder how her partner felt. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, can we stop while I just I just have to take a photo of this? I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, so uh, Gilly had a lot to say there. Yeah, Gilly has <laughs> taken this. She's come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> this field. Marvellous. <laughs> oh, but, dear. Uh, yeah. uh, trying to dispel the controversy, but yeah, I think the, there is evidence that there, there is some sort of ejaculation, but some of it could just be we. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a warning and a half. Yeah, yeah. Now, the, my next article... Uh, well, thank you for that, Norby. On, on the... Uh, uh, Nobby, ejac- Nob- Nobby, Nobby, sorry, Nobby. Thank you. On, <laughs> on the ejaculation. Nob- yeah. Thank you. So I've, I've one more article for um, Dr. Tench this evening related to plastic and climate change. How do you, how do you feel about these subjects, Nobby? Ah, uh, right. Um, I did come here by um, five litre... Uh, <laughs> Mustang, that Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. Yeah. that's yours out there. Um, well, but it was um, electric. 
Interesting. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I sympathise with the climate. Now, the thing is, we've got to get some definitions right here. Now, climate change, what is it? I mean, there's the usual, these periodic modifications of, mm-hmm. of climate mm-hmm. that happen all the time. Yep. Then, um, then we have these... Um, other sort of fluctuations now are these long term or not so um, this is what we got to decide okay um now some of these freak weather conditions we're having yep. um that's not climate change no 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 um but so when you say freak yeah i mean like the storms and yeah, the yeah, yeah, snow yeah. in yeah. june and when i was young that happened all the time <laughs> <laughs> in jamaica <laughs> I did visit that uh, Caribbean <laughs> country. <laughs> but in Hungary. Yeah. yeah. But um, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Barbados for me. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Barbados. Bajan. Bajan? So, yeah. Oh, fantastic. But I um, that you know, that's where the Norbert comes from. Um, <laughs> yeah, of course. Nobby. It's a very traditional name. Though, yes, it, it is. So, it is, yes. yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so, um, climate change and plastics. Um, did you know that there were plastics in your tea bag? Well, I didn't up until now. Well, <laughs> so, you know, um, as a uh, as an aficionado of um, you know tea, yeah, and um, particularly green tea. Oh yes, uh, okay. It, it, like it's, that it's climate. Healthy. Yeah, it's green. green. Yeah, of course. But is green tea actually then good for the climate? Well, it's got um, green there. <laughs> <laughs> like the green part. Or loose, is it a lie? <laughs> if it's loose leaves. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's very good to you. Yeah, if you yeah. have loose, l- loose <laughs> <I do>. um, <laughs> leaves, it's very good for the. Kiffy, <laughs> <laughs> stop distracting <laughs> the doctor. Right, so it's the, it's really the way they seal the bags. It's, they seal yes. the tea bags. It's this this um. Now it's this plastic. Now some of it isn't biodegradable, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Um, what some of the plastic isn't biodegradable. No, no, and you know some of this organic tea. I used to get. Um, can I say um, uh, proprietary names on this? Um, you program. can do. I used to get this clipper tea. Yeah. Oh yes, mm-hmm. not clipper tea because it was organic <laughs> and blah 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 and all, all this. Um, you know. Healthy. Healthy. Yeah. Healthy. That's, that's yeah. right, Dina. Yes. <laughs> that's the actual words. You know I was scores a point for that, <laughs> don't you? See, at the moment, she's got two points. Yeah, I'm yeah. in the lead. So um, then I find out that they were using non biodegradable plastic to seal their <gasps> seal their bags. Terrible. Tut, so tut. Um, I was shocked. <laughs> and I and they use bleach in some of the yeah. bags as well. I, I, not, I must admit, the, the non bleach ones look a bit sad. Oh really? Yeah. 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 The non grey grey yeah. tea bags. Oh, so I the, see. Yeah. I'm lucky. I'm a coffee drinker. <laughs> yeah. So, none so of this I thought me. somebody had left it in the shop for <laughs> a, <laughs> too long. So they bleached the tea bags. So I took twice. it back. I actually took it back. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Who are you people? Wow. So um, they're they're really grey and horrible. But um, um, I think there's a new biodegradable plastics now. Well, yes, they're they're supposedly. Uh, yeah, bioplastics have emerged, which apparently are made now from plant material mm-hmm. rather okay. than from oil. oil so yeah. what, the, yes. what, how long do they take to break down these bioplastics? It actually doesn't say, but they do want to stress, and I use the word stress, that the new bags uh, are industrially compostable, but they're not plastic free. Mm. Mm. Industrially compostable. Yeah. So it would mean, what they're saying is it takes that much longer yeah. to yeah. decompose. It means so that the bags can be put in the food or garden waste bin, but not in home compost. Yeah. So I find that uh, quite a lot. Um, uh, I compost oh, everything. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> everything? <laughs> almost everything. And um, if you use, um, if you don't, the thing is the industrial composts can get very hot. And the, uh, yeah. and you can almost sort of um, heat a home with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, Joe Swinton. Yeah. Joe Swinton <laughs> to get straight on to Caroline Lucas and get a, a, some sort of coalition going on the heating of homes. Well, yeah, I very think, true. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. People's old tea bags to be thrown between the gaps between the wall and the cavity, thrown down there, along with the other compost. I think the smell might put them off. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. So in this uh, article, actually, they've gone through all the uh, tea brands like Twinings and PG Tips and asking them all, are they plastic free? And the only one that actually is plastic free is Puka. Who? 
Pucker? Pucker. Oh. Pucker. Well, Don't they, they make poker? pies? No. Yeah, they do make pies. Oh, do as they? Well. Do they? But, uh, but, they oh. but not the same company. Um, ah. okay. Pucker pies. Pucker pies and pucker. Pucker. These are pucker. the only tea bags that you can put in your home compost. Ah. Yeah. Wow, well, you heard it here first, people. Yeah. But are more people turning to loose leaf? leaf. Yeah. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, a lot more people just going back to <laughs> coffee. <laughs> We're still very lazy, aren't we? Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> the thing is, in general, plastics, um, you know, the, the, the plastics that you find in your um, face scrubs, you know, I scrub mm. every morning. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you look very well on it. I like a bit of hand action myself, too. Yeah. Yeah. Kiv could take a few But uh, unfortunately, from you. Um, the, 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 this has been taken up by fish in the ocean. What? So I bought a mackerel at um, <laughs> uh, Waitrose uh, at the weekend. Full of and there was, um, you know, I opened up the guts and th- there was these plastic balls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he may have had surgery. <laughs> yeah. What did so, you do? <laughs> um, obviously, um, I'm one for taking things back. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just said, like that. Know, <laughs> what are these balls of plastic? <laughs> <laughs> and do they have an answer for you? Uh, no, she she gave me some fillets and said, yeah. <laughs> Todd, Todd. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, it's the, the, the plastic and climate change is a serious, uh, you know, in all honesty, this is a serious matter. And um, um, I, I believe you're a fan of Greta Thunberg, um, Mr. <laughs> King. So we should take her example and um, sail to the States. Yeah. But yeah, I was going to say, I think yeah. I know that in a plastic boat. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Using I was going to say, with a backup of diesel engine. Our, our other two <laughs> scientists will be sharing a boat with Greta Thunberg soon. So I know we will have reports from that. I know you're going to try and do live satellite feeds, aren't you, Siobhan? We'll certainly try. <laughs> Assuming, of course, they've got biodegradable phones and biodegradable data Yeah, packets. yeah. Uh, I, I, I realise you did bring me on as a scientist and I should be serious now. Just some facts here about biodegradable plastics. Let's oh. do it. Um, first known as bioplastic. Okay. Polyhydrobutyrate, PHB, okay. discovered by a French researcher. Another French one. Yeah, in 1926. French, oh, wow. Maybe the father of. So it's a long time ago from a <laughs> bacterium, Bacillus megatarium. Okay. Oh, right. Of course. And That's a this, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, I think he took it in his mouth as well. <laughs> Bet he did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, which one are we talking about? Uh, um, do, do go on. <laughs> and Maurice Lemoine. Maurice. Oh. Le, Maurice Lemoine is uh, is the and he he did a lot of work with bioplastics, and he was the f- the father of those little balls of plastic that you found oh, in your really? mackerel. <laughs> well, he was the father of. So he was family. probably one of those. Uh, what are they called? Plastic surgeon for fishes. Do they for have the fish? Do they have plastic surgeons? I, I didn't realise they had plastic surgeons <laughs> for fish. So. This is new info to yeah. me. Well, he said he's got plastic <laughs> balls. I just wonder, you know, how they, they enhance things. Is it um, breast right. augmentation? Oh, I see. Oh, right. Okay. Or, or was it their way of uh, trying to minimise their appetite? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe oh, help yes, us as a filler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Well, these are all crazy things, but we're going to come back after the break, I think, and, and discuss this furthermore. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> See you all very shortly. Yeah. 
I just can't get enough. 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 And when it rains, you're shining up for me. And I just can't get enough. And I just can't get enough. Just like a rainbow, you know you set me free. And I just can't get enough. And I just can't get enough. You're like an angel and you give me your love And I just can't seem to get enough of He had to uh, speed away. Oh, good old Nobby. Fantastic. Where do you find them, to be <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful chat. <laughs> but uh, yes, hopefully we'll have more from uh, Nobby in the coming weeks. <laughs> I like the way we can call him Nobby rather than Dr. Tench. It does. It does help things. It, it, makes, it, it makes everything quite intimate, doesn't it? It and, does. You know, and quite casual. <laughs> very, very, a very nice gentleman, uh, I'm sure. Now... Here. Moving on, moving swiftly on. What have you got on. for us in this next and final section? We have our uh, royal update. Um, a poll was done this week. <laughs> a poll by the Metro, I think you'll find. <laughs> in its office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was to do with uh, royal popularity and members of the royal family, and they were ranked in terms of their popularity. Okay. So the most um, interesting finding from this survey was that uh, no surprise, I guess, but Prince Andrew was voted the least oh. favourable. Ah, I always you know, I look at it as the least popular. Well, yes, yes, which, uh, you know, kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because, you know, all of his recent shenanigans. With that Epstein fella. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, would you look and see who came in a second last? Now, hold on. L- let me uh, let me try and work out who there are Edward left. Or um, there's the, who, the Duke of... Do you know you're going to be very disappointed? Actually, isn't that a pub in Ealing, the oh. Duke of Kent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not a so. Well, but um, I'm Freddy. going to to let you tell me. Does it rhyme with debacle? It does. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really. Yes, she came in. Uh, she's been seen negatively, apparently. <laughs> but how? Wow. How is this? How is this? What do you mean? How is this? But how could she possibly be seen as negative? Be seen rather. My words are all catching up. They on actually her. don't. They actually don't specify why she's seen negatively. Just they that just she don't is. like her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> I wonder if she actually was bottom, and then they realised. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, but Andrew. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's give him <laughs> half a point. There That's true. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take off half oh, a yeah. point for his he, grey he's hair. He's a bit of a criminal, oh. isn't he? Maybe, maybe he should be bottom. Actually. Oh. <laughs> wow. More to add to the mark or debacle, then. Yes. So apparently, she was popular amongst the young generation that is the 18 to 24 year olds however the 18 to 24 year olds are quite (laughs) anti-royal altogether these days as a whole so I'm not really sure that their opinion counts for very much (laughs) given they don't believe in the royal family how many 18 to 24 year olds work at the Metro (laughs) yeah well that's very true as well (laughs) I mean Tristan Uh, whose father runs the paper yeah that's very true (laughs) Oh dear. Um, 
yeah. I suppose but it didn't help her Wimbledon antics where she said, don't look at me, she sound shouted to the crowd. No. And that poor fellow who was trying to get a photograph of himself at Wimbledon. Oh, yes, yes. No, and she's she, not liked at all amongst the Conservatives, apparently. Well, no, oh. because she wouldn't be, which is she's not royal. She's not <laughs> yeah, a proper royal. Yeah. She's seen <laughs> by they as um, a cuckoo. Yes, as we established <laughs> yeah, last week. That's right. I managed to bellow that one out as soon as I discovered it. Indeed. The Queen is the most liked royal. Well, she's head of the house. Yeah. But, does, but I think people just generally like her anyway, don't they? She's a lovely lady. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's lots of Prince lots Philip, where did he come? <laughs> you know, it, it's really annoying. It doesn't give me the list. It's just pointed out that Meghan was worst and the Queen was the best. <laughs> <laughs> And that Kate beat Megan, which is obviously <laughs> also really important news. Uh, I yeah. bet Kate came second. Cause I would, yeah, I would think Kate is pretty high up there. But William's yeah. also very nice, isn't he? Yes, he yes, very that's nice, very true. Yeah. Yeah. Harry's yeah, dropped. It's like the the chance, isn't it? Down in four places now is <laughs> King, well, Prince Harry. It mm. probably would have been the sensible thing to have googled this earlier and actually seen if I could find the list. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say, I don't think I'll be able to paper over that particular. <laughs> Confession there, but normally it is a seamless show, and we do research. Yeah, yeah. But do you think that William and you know lovely Kate are are sort of enjoying this current, as you say, Mark or debacle? Thinking, hey, I don't know. know. When she's like this, she makes us look better. Yeah, Yeah, probably. 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 Might be going yes, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Each time she's in the paper, yeah. Kate's going that bitch. Oh, I do hope it doesn't affect their relationships, so yeah, Any the two further? Brothers well, there's always rumours about them hating each other, oh, isn't they there? They don't hate each other. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll be with Kate on this side. She goes past her and says, pretender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cough under her breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, waiter. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Could you get me a cup of coffee, please, Megan? <laughs> <laughs> no, d- don't ask the waiter. You get it. Yeah, yeah. That's what modern royals do now. They get their own coffee. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to move on to the what I deem to be the silly news of the week. <laughs> 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 the third and final section yeah. where it lifts you. My first article. Transphobic porn star refused sex with model because she has a penis. <laughs> now, that is a very confusing hey. heading. A very, very, a very confusing heading. Transphobic porn star yes so i will explain (laughs) yes please do i'm I'm all in (laughs) ria cooper became britain's youngest trans person when she transitioned 10 years ago so that means she was a man but she's now a woman right right okay and she was working as a model i think but has now decided to embark on a career in the sex industry so she was approached by someone who asked her to be in a porn film and she said, that's totally cool, but just FYI, I have a penis. And the guy apparently then said, So the, the transition, no. she didn't really go all the way. So no, like, no. Rather than having a tooth replaced, getting a crown. No, she's been 10 years waiting on the uh, <laughs> waiting list. <laughs> uh-huh. So she's uh-huh. got a winkle. Yeah, yeah, which they, um, they, which they didn't really want in their porn film. Some porn films do. I mean, she... No. I mean, she's supposed to be playing the woman in this porn film, ah, by the way. I can see oh. where that's going to go wrong. Yes, right. yes, yes. So she's now accused them of being transphobic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that had a good build-up, a really good build-up. But there are so many other porn films she could be... Is she, is it she yet? Oh, she, she is a she. Shim. Sh- shim, shim. <laughs> Awful. She is a she. Yeah. Uh-huh. She describes the comments as discriminatory and appalling. The comment, what, the people or the, the place? No. Oh, the comments. <laughs> the comments. Oh, sorry, I thought you said the comments. I thought, well, did I fall asleep there and miss some of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now, the comments of, of the um, videographer who said he wouldn't shoot her in his porn film. Oh. So, when it, by shoot, he obviously is, is referring to filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I was using uh, Hollywood slang uh-huh, there. Uh-huh, look oh. at you, <laughs> film star. We're on shoot, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. So, what you know, given that she's got breasts and a male appendage, yeah, uh-huh. and I would imagine it's a fully active male appendage. I guess it probably given still that is. Given nothing's been done to it, yeah, yeah. Then why doesn't she go to the specific genre? Yeah, that caters for those. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I feel like I feel like 
this guy who wanted to film her is getting quite a bit of hate here, and I'm not <laughs> sure. Unfairly. I'm not sure he entirely <laughs> deserves it. I'm, I, you know, I wouldn't have necessarily said his comments were transphobic. He just no. doesn't want a I lady want with a cock. penis in his porn film. Because I mean, I wonder how long this conversation, you know, was going on for. I.e., hello, pretty lady, I'd like you to be in my movie. Oh yeah, sure. FYI, I have a. I'm and packing. Yeah, I'm packing. And a yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I didn't realise. Change my mind. Sorry about that, but you know, this is a penis-free. <laughs> <laughs> and she has then, you know, within a space of 10 minutes thought, hmm, you are phobic, therefore I'm now going to take you to court. Yeah, yeah, ah, pretty much. Right. Pretty Rather much. than, you know, a, a conversation in the cafe, great, turn up for an interview or a... Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it, it probably ah. went awry when um, they asked, well, they're, they're, you know, going for a wee or something, she comes and stands next to it. <laughs> 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 it's a dress up, move over a bit, fella. <laughs> oh, dear. I think the thing is, is he probably just turned around and said to her, on this occasion, uh, I actually don't have any use for you <laughs> in particular. Ah, <laughs> and neither does Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. in this film. <laughs> yes, we've spoken to your, your co-star and he is also <laughs> quite uncomfortable. He's what? not that comfortable with it at all. Oh, and dear. will be considerably more uncomfortable <laughs> after the film. She says she's very hurt because um, it's going to affect her modelling career, apparently. Oh, mm. I hope it ends... Fairly. Yeah, <laughs> that's all we can hope for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh moving dear. swiftly on with that Moving one. swiftly on. If you're an only child, you're more likely to be fat, <laughs> study says. Oh. Actually, you know what? Study says we should have saved this one for Dr. Tench. Oh, Dr. Tench, yeah. where are you now? I'm actually, I'm going to put this one aside. Okay, wait, yeah, wait for the next time yeah. you're in. However, I'm going wait. to stay on um, fat things. <laughs> Firefighters rescue 30 stone pig from flat where it ate Chinese takeaways. What, what on its own? That is it, another it mouthful of a, head, <laughs> of a heading, isn't it? <laughs> oh, do go on, Siobhan. I'm intrigued. <laughs> a huge pig had to be put on a stretcher and taken out of an upstairs flat where it got stuck. Two year old Twiglet, who weighs. <laughs> <laughs> who weighs 30, 30 stone. stone. 30 stone. That's. That's impressive. Yeah. That's... Well, you use the word impressive in not extreme. the same way I would have done. I mean, yeah. like... I mean, that's fatter than you. And that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Kiff Bitch. is a spelt. Seven, yeah, seven, yeah, yeah, 17 yeah. stone. Apparently. He is now. <laughs> I have, you know, I've lost a load of weight. That's because you've gone... You're, you're eating vegan porridge, aren't you? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm alcohol free at the moment. Ah, uh, yes, you're still alcohol free. I am, so I there's no yeast very well. burst. Like a, what's it, a, a yeast rush That's that my very, body has yeah. and swells up. Good lord. Anyway, two year old Twiglet, she was advertised as a micro pig. <laughs> wow. And then she grew up. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? The and thing grew was, and grew like Jack and the Beanstalk. Apparently, she was sold to a grandma <laughs> oh. who allowed her to sleep on a mattress. She was toilet trained and she was fed on Chinese takeaways, chocolate, and porridge. So she obviously researched what you should feed. A yeah, pig. exactly. <laughs> Jesus I mean, Christ! <laughs> they can eat plastic, can't they? What? Pi- oh, they can eat anything, pigs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, there's there's a recycling idea for Joe Swinton. That's very true, actually. Yeah, just. just Pigs. Pigs everywhere. Everyone just have pigs. Yeah, but then we can't eat... Well, not that I want to, but... Except Come in the on. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing nicer than a, a, a set of pork <laughs> chops with some apple sauce. I don't know. I'm more of a bacon sandwich. <laughs> <Thank you>. Oh! <laughs> yeah, do love bacon sandwich. Well, apparently, if you made that joke in front of the grandma, she would be very angry at you. She refuses to let anyone make bacon sandwich jokes about her twiglet. Really? Yes. The one that she feeds Chinese <laughs> yeah, food yeah, yeah. and is made so overweight... <laughs> It can't walk. Twiglet has been described as living a life of luxury mm. in Rotherham. <laughs> in Rotherham? <laughs> well, there's a first. A life of luxury in Rotherham. Yes. I mean, I was just wondering, when you walk in the apartment, the flat or whatever they call yep. it, mm-hmm. the smell. The smell. Yeah. What, her or the pig? <laughs> <laughs> or the old Chinese containers all scattered Can around? Oh, oh, there's dear. the, um, you know, the farmyard stench. Good well, Lord. I was like, how does it go out for a dump. It but it doesn't, obviously. How can it fit? Have you seen what <laughs> yeah. they produce? Um, yes. They produce quite a lot, don't they? Yes, yeah. they do. Yeah. I mean, where would it do it? It's not like it's got a cat litter. Ugh. Well, well, 
Well, yeah. It'd I be mean, like a double bed with <laughs> gravel in it. Plus, <laughs> yeah. plus the leftover Chinese, although, as you say, oh, they eat anything, yeah. so there might not be anything left. That's However, true. However, there's still the output from yeah, the Yeah, there's always the output, themselves. isn't there? God. Oh, Lord. Yeah, and yummy. In a flat, a first floor yes. flat? A flat in which six firefighters had to load her onto a oh. bariatric stretcher and manoeuvre her down in an operation that took three hours. Tell so what, what, what do they do with her after that? Do they ship her off to the vets? Uh, well, yes, they sent her to rehab, basically. Rehab? She's, <laughs> she's, she's now living at Pepper's Field Equine and Poultry Rehabilitation Centre. Getting some exercise. Has yeah, she had her yep. she's lost about a and stone and a half, apparently. Well, that won't be hard, but she's probably going to have a spine reduced as well so she can go back to being a micro pig. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. God. She's lost about a stone and a half after switching her junk food to animal feed. Can you imagine the pig's face when presented with animal <laughs> feed for the first time? Going, what the yeah. fuck is this mm. shit? Disgusting. <laughs> <That's> absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. If you think I'm eating that, you have Run got another the thing corner, coming. Yeah. Refuse it to turn around. <laughs> oh, dear. So I have uh, another fat-related story. Let me just see if I can find it. I do it. love the fat-related stories. You know they make actually, me feel so much thinner. We have loads of fat-related stories. I am down today. to 190... 195 pounds. Are you? Oh. Yeah. Now, given my frame and size, I'm a quite a tall chap and very broad-shouldered. <coughs> 195 pounds doesn't make me look that. Fat. I see. I'm still a size 34 waist my and getting smaller. <laughs> Tune in next week for Kippy's <laughs> weight loss. I'll give you a weight <laughs> update. <laughs> <Some> incredible <laughs> shrinking. <laughs> the weight update awaits. The weight update. Ooh, Ooh look at you. Pull of them tree. tonight. Cinder block. A morbidly obese cat who is in desperate need of losing some weight has decided she couldn't be bothered with exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Cats are quite smart, aren't they? She's yeah. been taken to a vet in Bellingham, um, in Washington State, apparently. Ah. Um, and these people have treadmills at their practice. Really? Uh, <laughs> what a great idea. Isn't it cool? Yeah. They decided to put the cat onto the treadmill and see <laughs> what she would do. But it didn't take her long to find a place in the corner where she sat down and just used one paw <laughs> on the treadmill. <laughs> I think she was gently pouring away through a river. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or an idle stream. This is hilarious. This this video is actually on the internet because I've actually seen this video. <laughs> and the cat really is just like, yeah, couldn't be bothered. Just one paw. <laughs> yeah, literally just one paw. Just just yeah. sitting there. The other the the other paw is up in the air giving the giving two <laughs> fingers up to the vet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dissident cat. Oh dear. So if you have time, go and Google that story uh, and watch the video. Cinderblock. Cinderblock, that's the name. The fat cat. Cinderblock. Love. Oh, mind you, cats. I mean, remember last week, the Russian cat. Oh, oh yes. that was the funniest. Thing I mean, I'd like I've to have seen the fella try and throw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would have knocked the policeman over. That's true. Yeah, there would have been a lot more damage done. I'd say. <laughs> The cat wouldn't have been able to hold the tell, tell itself <laughs> no. up. Just ripping the skin <laughs> off as it slides yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> Gouging out the man's face. Oh, Lord. Right. In keeping with our very evident theme, admin worker 22 quits job to eat takeaways on YouTube. <laughs> You're joking. Yeah. Wow. What? It's interesting. I've actually heard about this. Um, some people, apparently it's really popular um, in, I think it's Japan where uh, they will watch people eating dinner or eating food on YouTube and the idea is that then they're not alone eating dinner if they watch people online eating oh, dinner. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One of the, the colleagues was chatting about this a few weeks ago. Ah. So the, they, it's like having a... What's it, what, a dining companion. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, exactly. A yeah. virtual dining companion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're just watching wow. a video of this person. Yeah. Goodness. Tell oh, me. That, that mental tell me health more. budget's being eaten away <laughs> yeah. at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is why the NHS is drowning. <laughs> Sharna Rowley films herself eating around 5,500 calories per meal and Whoa. posts the footage on YouTube. Have you got a photograph of her? I do, yeah. Gosh, yeah. isn't she? Does she, does she have shapely? to eat that? Um, she's qu- curvy. She's does very she have curvy. To eat curvy that bell-like, many calories? actually. I don't know. Because if it's for, as I said, the Japanese market, or is it for the well, feeder? This is the market? thing. Well, yeah, she's got two. 
<laughs> She's got options. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smart lady. <laughs> she said her ultimate aim, and I quote ultimate aim, is to work up to eating 10,000 calories oh, in one sitting. No. Wow. Jesus but it would be cool. quite literally her ultimate, wouldn't it? That would heart attack, boom, that's ah, it, you're done. Yes, here it is. Okay. In the future, her aim is to become the UK's first mukbang star, which is a trend in South Korea, where people binge on camera while chatting to the audience. Oh, so but why? Wow. I don't. Well, maybe I'm going to go and have a look at this after. <laughs> yeah, I so, think you so should. So when you say binge, what like literally stuffing her face? She is. Oh god, like, this is even worse picture. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, wow. <laughs> That's not. Oh, She's wow. enjoying that her food. That is not food, a flattering she? picture there. And I can't help noticing, but they are ironically tracksuit bottoms um, normally associated. I think with they sports. need to be. I think they need to be. And also, look where her camera is pointed. <laughs> at a very uh, intimate angle there. Oh, it certainly <laughs> is, Lord. At the growing area. Yes, at the area that Nobby was but so um, this... enthusiastic yeah. to speak about earlier. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think that highlights, oh, it does highlight the the way that social media has gone. God, so has she it got, really um, is, yeah. Has she got, a, you know, a, a large following already? She has well, 40, she's got a large waist. <laughs> she has 40,000 followers, apparently. Bloody all I, of them perverts. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know why you'd want to watch this. Apparently her boyfriend does it sometimes with her as well. Wow. <laughs> His name is Trans King. Trans uh-huh. King? Yeah, Trans King with a Z though. So maybe, so, so maybe he's trying to throw us off the scent there. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if she was paid to say, um, sit and eat salads, and st- you know, the, 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 the whole 10,000 calories, could she go, do you know what I'm going to do? A two thousand calorie meal, mm, salad, or <laughs> yeah. mm, and dressing. Yummy. Would yeah. that be acceptable, or is it the fact she's eating these fast foods, high calories? Is that the attraction for them, and seeing her grow each week? Yeah, <laughs> maybe you would, actually. Would, yeah, you be having a bet on how much she puts on. I think you would. Although I apparently do. it does say here that she goes to the gym four times a week. That's a to lie. keep her health in check. Come really? On. I have to say, she walks in and she walks I was going to say, four <laughs> times a week, I don't think is enough to negate four times 5, a 5,000 calories per sitting. How many uh-huh. meals does she have a day? She you know have I'm normally really happy when I've done my hour and I've got to 540 calories, going my bone shaker, which takes another 200 and something. I'm happy to get to 1,000 calories over the course of an hour or two hours. Yeah. Mm. Good God. I mean, oh, I wow. Su- yeah. I suppose if she's doing like three or four sittings, you know, if she's going to the gym, she's then trying to, you know, stave off being even larger uh-huh. than what she could. <laughs> you know, if it's a 15,000 calorie intake, but that's... That 15,000 calories, given that uh, a oh, woman normally of an <laughs> average, well, back in the Victorian times, is led to believe that it is... Is it 2,000 2,000 calories? 2,000 yeah. for or a woman. Or 2,500. Yeah. Two, no, 2,000 for a woman. And yeah. a man has... 2,700, something like Is that? 2,800? I don't think it's I don't think it's quite three. No. No. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And she's doing 5,500. Oh, her per heart. sitting. Her heart must be really... Well, this is the thing. Really the gym four times a week is not going to help you. Her colon must be praying oh, for the end. It gets <laughs> even worse. <laughs> her mother <laughs> saw it initially as a hobby, but once she saw my passion... And the following I was managing to get, she has changed her mind. She might have once seen it as a backup plan, but now she thinks I should go for it while I'm young and have the opportunity. Is that not the most ridiculous I thing you've ever heard? I presume she's got a good, uh, you know, skin oh. surgeon lined up as well. Jesus. She, when she changes well, her yeah, mind. Because when she does decide. Yeah, lipo. Yeah. <laughs> lipo After all of this, she, yeah, she wants to become micro her. I suppose, actually, maybe that's her next project. Oh. Wow. Is to, I'm going to go from the 28 stone blubbering whale down to a waif, in her mind, mm. 18 stone mm. grey whale. Good lord. That is horrifying, really, to be honest with you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You never cease to amaze me. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Wow. I'm now com- considering other career options. I, I, I think mean, we I, should I, all I, consider it, to be honest. I think 5,000 is, is a bit too much, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. <laughs> well, on that healthy note, what about... What are you doing at the weekend? Um... Are you going to any hot dog stands or... Getting a Chinese takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> 
I won't be posting it online though. Actually, I do wonder how many calories when we pop up the road for food. Yeah. How many calories do we get in that one sitting? I reckon it's probably quite a lot. It is quite <laughs> to high, be fair. Isn't it? Actually, enough. when we do the buffet, how many plates do you do? I'm still aiming for the three plates. Oh, eat all you can. look at you! I'm still three two plates, and, a half and I'm a bit disappointed. I want to get. Two. I would aim I've for got three to be plates honest. as well. well no, I'd at be at a the buffet, I, I have difficulty do. I do my plate full of meat, uh-huh. right? And then that's it. I can't do. Oh. <laughs> the all-you-can-eat buffet is a fantastic <laughs> idea. <laughs> If you've got loads of me there, you just say, oh, no, after one, I just can't eat anymore. My small intestine is back. No, up. if you give up after one, that is a waste of time. Exactly. Yeah, but you just, how Crying uncomfortable. Shame. You have to they, go for it. I don't have coffee there. Yeah, but the whole point is to be uncomfortable at the end. <laughs> I'm not so <laughs> sure it says it on the front door. You've got to at least break it. All even. you can eat. <laughs> All you can eat. Do it. <laughs> and you're meant to feel uncomfortable. And we'll roll you out the door. Yeah. <laughs> You that lady will put you to shame. <laughs> I've seen, I remember they used to have these. I used to, there was a chap I did work with briefly, and he used to take us to this place in St. Albans called the King Will. It used to have uh, one of those, like a salad bar, a meat bar, a buffet bar, whatever. Uh-huh. It is. Okay. And he used to pile his plate, and I mean, pile it high. Stick his face in it and suck it all in. Oh. Go up and down. He would do it about four or five times. And they used to be, where he lifted his plate up, it was bare, but around the edge was just food <laughs> that had fallen off his plate, that had come from his sweat or whatever it was as oh. he was chomping away. Right. And it was almost as if that was the only time he'd eaten during the week. Oh, so did you see him expand in front of your eyes? As <laughs> yeah, two, yeah. Two, yeah. Three <laughs> went in. You know what, I remember I was over in Shepherd's Bush only last year. Yeah. And they've got a buffet area over where the cinema is. Okay. On the side of the cinema is. Mm-hmm. So just off the roundabout. Okay. I went in there and I you know, eat, I did what I normally do. It's, I got what I wanted to eat, sat down, ate well, a, it. A, a yeah. salad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you saw me back then, it wasn't a salad. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got half a chicken and there I am. And, and there's this lady who has a fantastic, I mean fantastic figure. Okay. And she was eating as if she didn't... There was, there was no stomach. There was no process. It went in, and she just eat, eat, <laughs> eat. And I stared at her to the point of where she could have actually had me done for some form of harassment. I don't know. Which right, one yeah, been, yeah. I was agog. She would have just eaten you. She was just eating <laughs> yeah. this food. He was next. <laughs> yeah, she, she actually went up for dessert. As I was, you know, you sort of like lumber past the dessert trolley. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Area. And I thought, oh, God, and there she was going, mm, light and nimble on her feet, bouncing from one tray to another, sucking in all that could be hot and all she could get in one. I love it. She wow. was eating without going down. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> Did she have like a spare bag? What was it like? I wonder. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Spare stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Is she regurgitating this really quickly? Does she quickly get a load in? Yeah. Off to the labs, out it comes, back in. <laughs> yeah, probably. Mm. <laughs> Wow. Hollow Bulimia. Legs. Oh, jeez. Bulimia. That's the only other. I mean, other. yeah. I don't, don't, don't know. I, I'm trying to think of all the times I've been sick, whether I've wanted to eat again. <laughs> but they've normally been alcohol-induced. Mm-hmm. God. So Good eating Lord. wasn't really part of it. It's just, yeah. Oh, well, we're going to move on from there. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about you, Dina? What are you doing this weekend? Oh, this and that. <laughs> elusive. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very elusive. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Siobhan, you didn't get past all in the Chinese. Are you going anywhere nice? Uh, no. Might go to Greenwich on Saturday, actually. Oh, Why nice. is that? You want to meet the witches? <laughs> I'll try and avoid those. In the square. <laughs> no, in the market square. Those. You could go there too, Dina. <laughs> but it's not Halloween anymore. Why are they there? doesn't have to be for witches. Oh. Every day is a glorious day for the Wiccan people. That is true. Okay. That is true. They celebrate each and every day with glorious glee and alcohol. <laughs> a lot of them. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> No, we were going to go and be cultural and have a look at the Maritime Museum and the uh, palace Ooh, that's there. Fantastic, Ooh, yeah, they're yes. very grand buildings yes. there, very grand. But they've also they have, does it? Is it? See, they've got that little thing there. What's it? Oh, the observatory. Yeah, but they, they've got <laughs> this little sign that says something about the last, last place on Earth or the last time. Oh, 
Uh, well, I'll see you on Saturday. Yeah, I'll you will. And remind says. me. Write it down so I can remind myself. I will do. Mm-hmm. Before you do ask, I'm doing nothing either. All right. Lies. I did do the car. I did the car. I don't think I'm doing anything at all. I'm not doing any... Did you clean out your fridge last week? Oh, I did. Yeah. I did, which is why I'm able to eat the food I've got now. I what see. did you discover? Anything? Yeah. I knew there were bacteria. <laughs> Yummy. Fungus. Uh, yeah. I just got a load of food that wasn't mine. Get Nobby in to test that. <laughs> 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 Yummy. Oh, well, that's about all I'm going to say. I'll wrap it up. I hope you both have a fantastic weekend. Oh, thank and you, you. And, and you. And thank you for Nobby. Nobby, you're not here now, but this is a thank you. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Nobby. Shout out to Nobby. <laughs> Cheers, Nobby. <laughs> well, you have a wonderful time. I shall speak to you and non. All right. Take Bye. care now. Bye. Bye.